Hey Cancer, welcome back guys. Happy birthday, okay? I hope you guys have enjoyed your birthday season. It's coming to an end, you know, but hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed your season. All right, let's see what's going on with you all, Cancer. Let's tap into your energy. Um, anything you need to know about me is gonna be down below in the description box, okay? Um, make sure you guys take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation, put yourself where you belong in the spread, okay? Cancer, let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. What are the messages here for Cancer? <clears throat> What's going on for my Cancer collective? So we got Eight of Cups. Mm, judgment in reverse. What else? King of Cups. Scorpio here, strong Scorpio. Someone got a Pisces, Saturn, Aries, Leo, Sag with the judgment too. One eleven. I just saw on the clock. So, um, I feel like you're having a hard time forgiving someone about something okay there's like some sort of repeated lesson okay over and over again with the judgment it keeps cycling back around um there could be a lot of malicious gossip here going on too where you, i mean you could have been falsely accused of something and i feel like you're just over the whole situation eight of cups is you walking away you walking away from a situation there will definitely be no more second chances in something Let's just see what this is, child. I feel like you're emotionally unfulfilled, either within yourself or in a situation that they, where somebody just can't give you what it is that you want. What else? I feel like you're having a hard time processing your emotions about them. Yeah, you could be walking away from someone that's been in and out of your life, like back and forth, up and down. Could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. I feel like you're gonna have to have the have to have the confidence to break free of this person. All right, because I don't know. Let's see. They could be hot and cold, whoever this is. So. Yeah, it's a cup. Yeah, no. <laughs> right under the judgment in reverse. So it's something from your past that you're just saying no about. Okay, it's a no for you. <laughs> like, or let's see. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody is confusing you. It could be this King of Cups here. This person has feelings for you, but they're not showing it or expressing it or... I don't know. The bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Seven of Cups is like something is just an illusion. Whatever this is right here. And I feel like it's... Maybe you feel like this person has feelings for you on a soul level. They do. I feel like they care about you, right? Somebody here is confused. They don't know what they want. Their emotions are all over the place. For some of you, this person could have been married to or they are married or they're dealing with other options. That's why they're in and out, back and forth, and you're not getting what you want. Okay, they can't spread themselves from you to the next hoe, to the third, or whoever else. I mean, it's just not going to work. And I feel like something is just, whoever this is, is very idealistic. Something is just not reality. It's just not reality. Okay, it's, it's, it's a fantasy is giving more so of somebody here lives in la la land instead of their ass taking action and doing what the fuck they need to do to fix the connection or whatever this is they sitting up here confused or they got a lot of options or a lot of shit going on like i don't know let's see though <laughs> we'll say the cups So make sure I feel called to say, yeah, Ace of Cups again, the Chariot. Yeah, it's coming in fast. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, the Chariot. Yeah, because of all the soul work that you've done with the the Hermit 424 on the clock, on the timer I meant, all the introspection that you've done on yourself, you have new coming in, just period. All right, and I feel like this person could have made you an option in the past. Now you have the chance to make them one. That's if you even want them to be an option. <laughs> like, that, that's it's fucked up, but it's true. Yeah, the Judgment Upright, the Hierophant. You learned a lesson. The judgment upright, the hierophant, and the fool. You learned something here. I feel like you passed some sort of test or something like that. And for some of you, because this person won't forgive their past, 
they are fucking this new connection up with you. But what's the Eight of Cups? Ciao. Yeah, the moon in reverse. What's the Eight of Cups with the moon in reverse? So this is you moving away from any kind of like fear and like anxiety about moving away from a connection. I feel like maybe, like maybe you thought like, oh, okay, well, if I move away, then what's going to happen or what am I going to get? Am I really going to like, what's, what's going to happen? Should I or should I not move away? I feel like you've, you've seen enough, you've heard enough, okay, to, yeah, to move away. All right, the, 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 um, the moon in reverse talks about something being revealed to you yeah i feel like you know in your hearts of hearts that there's something better and excuse me somebody is just you want something solid you know you don't want something that's not just gonna like where you're being breadcrumbs so you're just moving on with the ace of pentacles towards virgo capricorn could be significant 606 on the timer yeah, I just feel like you want something stable. This this connection had a potential to be stable, but I just feel like somebody who's been in and out, they've been playing with your fucking, it's been taking your loyalty for granted here. I feel like you've been really loyal and down to a fault, okay? You've been doing too much for somebody. Yeah, three of swords in reverse. You're healing. Yeah. Some of y'all could have a new car coming in. Uh, you could be buying a new car, a new home, or this could be a solid foundation that you're getting ready to build for your damn self. But the moon is, you know, secrets being revealed, things being illuminated to you or something coming out or whatever this is. Moving away from fears, anxieties, frustration, whatever. Whatever was blocking you. What's the judgment in reverse? 12, 3, 2. You guys will be saying 2, 3, 2. Okay. That's on the clock. Uh, okay, yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse. What's the judgment in reverse? The Ten of Cups in reverse. The Death card. Hmm, Scorpio here. Someone could have a Pisces Mars. There's definitely somebody here. There's a rocky relationship here with a family dynamic. Okay, something is ending is over. Okay, this could be somebody you got children with, somebody that you're just having a hard time forgiving, um, or somebody that's indecisive here about a, a rocky relationship with a family dynamic. There could be a lot of family secrets, a lot of things coming to light, maybe, in some sort of family dynamic here. This could be why you're ending something with this person, because they're not learning their lesson in regards to whoever they had children with or their family. This could be a divorce, but I'm getting more so it's like... Someone here goes back and forth with this these this person or whoever to say that they're dealing with. This could be some sort of abusive connection. Somebody's name could be getting clear in some sort of like court case too. I, like, I don't know. Somebody could have been blamed for like child neglect or abuse or somebody could, could have been. It's something like that. I'm also hearing somebody could be living like a double life. But this Ten of Cups is unhappy family. This is like a breakup. This could be a breakup, a separation, a divorce, or there's just a rocky relationship here with someone's family dynamic. And it they just keep learning the lesson or they keep going over this over and over and over again with the judgment in reverse here. There's a lot of dysfunction going on here. But that judgment, that's not good either. Somebody's whole family could be getting judgment or could be getting could be under judgment for accusing you of some shit that you didn't do. One, two, three, four on the clock. Oh, it's something like that. What's this Ten of Cups in reverse? Three of Swords in reverse. What's this Three of Swords in reverse? Somebody could have a Libra Saturn. What's the Three of Swords in reverse? I take it spirit and this shit flipped all kind of ways could be dealing with an aquarius capricorn somebody could definitely be on the aquarius capricorn cusp <clears throat> so that's what i'm getting right with the devil in reverse i feel like you're taking your power back from whoever this is this king of swords in reverse this could be your baby daddy that's acting a fucking fool they got control issues and you've like taking your power back from them with the devil in reverse. Or this could be somebody that's dealing with a third party energy. Their family is a third party. Whoever they had kids with. And they keep lying to you about this here. 
they keep lying to you about this and they're holding on to some sort of like grudge or resentment or some sort of trauma from their their family dynamic that they've been dealing with or whatever this is and they just keep lying to you here they're trying to i don't know <laughs> but somebody here's a liar and i feel like they made irrational decisions okay something about their decision making they, they've judged you really harshly too with their family for some of you and this is why with the judgment in reverse this is why something is it's not working or it's not going to work out somebody made bad decisions due to their own fucking healing that they needed to do holding on to like pain or holding on to this fucking karmic connection here with a baby mama or whoever the fuck this is has really ruined a connection. It's just what it's giving to me. The magician. Yeah. You're you're manifesting here. Options, new love, new connections. What's this death card? Uh, and, and it was crazy, right? They they lost you for some of you and they fucking some sort of family secret has came out. Like their whole family is falling apart as well. What's this death card right here? I don't like how they flipped over. What's the death card? That was the Knight of Swords. What's this death card? Those that could mean big changes. Yeah, coming in. Page of Cups. This could be somebody too going through some sort of awakening or this could be you going you could be going through some sort of like psychic upgrade but i feel like with the death card you're transitioning and there could be good news coming in for you the page of cups let's see what's this page of cups right here the lovers yeah new options new choices yeah seven of cups I feel like something is over because this person started dating a new person. I mean, this third party. Okay, that's what I'm getting. You could be dealing with a Gemini here. I feel like, though, you're coming into balance within yourself. With the lovers, you're coming into union with yourself. That's what this transition is about. You've balanced yourself out. Your masculine and your feminine within you, whether you're a man or woman, doesn't matter the gender. You've balanced yourself out here. So you could have, like, definitely... Your, your love life here is changing for the better, I feel. You could be getting ready to go out on a date. Or there's some good news coming in with whatever options you have. You're going to have to maybe make a choice between this person and the other options that you have in your life. I don't know. But I'm definitely getting you took your power back. For sure that from this person. Because they keep fucking lying about this raggedy ass family that they didn't start with this damn comic. <laughs> I'm going to just be frank and fucking honest. Because I'm sick of seeing this shit. You know, I'm sick of seeing it. Just period. So... <clears throat> Yeah, you could be dating. I mean, you're there's an ending to another connection. So it's just like you're you're ready to like put yourself back out there. This could be you getting axed out and just I don't know. Five of Wands, yeah. Like what the fuck? What's the um this could be you needing to just be open hearted, be open minded with the page of cubs. Listen listen to your intuition, listen to that inner voice as you're like maneuvering but i definitely feel like somebody here was just gullible and naive they got themselves caught up for some of you this person like i said they got married to to a karmic the other option they with the page of cups that's like naivety or being like i don't know and that shit is over <laughs> if they were dealing with somebody that they didn't fucking he got with over you or whatever this is that shit is over so they didn't lost you and they lost this comic what's the king of cups The High Priestess in Reverse. What's the King of Cups with the High Priestess in Reverse? Pisces here. <clears throat> yeah, the Queen of Swords. Um, The High Priestess in Reverse is somebody that's out of control, that has outbursts, that can't really control themselves. This could be somebody with a blocked intuition, or this could be... 
someone that's repressing their intuition for what they like for what they know to be true they're repressing it and i feel like you cut this person off because they're doing this it's like i feel like you know that somebody's really smart they're smart they're very smart actually but they play like they fucking stupid at the wrong times just period what's the let me see what's the high priestess in reverse for some of you your spirit guides here are blo is blocking something out for you some sort of like illusion what's the high priestess in reverse somebody what is this what's this high priestess in reverse they either have a block psyche or they fucking ignoring something yeah they're, they're ignoring their fucking love that they have for you that's what i'm saying something that you ask this person about too is coming out okay the high priestess in reverse sometimes i see that's like a big secret okay but i feel like this person is repressing their emotions they're keeping it hidden on purpose this person is the kind of person that feels like they're gonna miss out on something if they stay solid in something else like that's what i'm saying like they have deep feelings for you but they feel like they're going to fucking miss out on something else if they choose somebody like to stay in a connection with somebody has they have commitment issues like real bad we'll see and this is why you're walking away somebody here didn't listen to their fucking intuition well, who this queen of swords right here the five of swords who the queen of swords with the five of swords the knight of cups the magician the ace of cups yeah you're manifesting new will of fortune i feel like you have a lot of good options coming in uh, for sure new beginnings new romance new i mean uh more emotional fulfilling beginnings whether it's romance or not but <clears throat> i feel like you ask this person even though you've been very discerning you know it's what's to be true you ask this person about somebody that they were dealing with or dating or you're trying to get like more insight on how this person feels about you so you can make a clear decision and they just keep fucking lying that's what I'm saying. Like, ain't that fucked up? Like, they people don't even give you a chance to make your own decisions about them. They want to control shit and make shit the way that they want it to go. And I and I feel like, you know, you've gotten some sort of victory here with the Five of Swords. Because definitely there's miscommunication for sure. That's what the Five of Swords is. As well as just like, this could be like somebody here just playing games and shit. They're playing games. For some of you, they got advice from somebody else's ass. They got advice from somebody that they're now getting a divorce from. And, and they didn't listen to their fucking intuition. Or you, you've given this person like really good advice here. Or you've been a helping hand. You've helped this person out with your advice. Or you're, you're, it's, like, it's like you're willing to compromise with them. But they keep fucking playing games. And I feel like you're just tired of it. So you're setting boundaries with them. You're cutting their ass off. They keep fucking lying. And you have to, even, even after you know the truth. And I feel like they know it too. They know it, but they they just keep lying. I don't know what else to say. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody could be on the Aquarius Pisces cusp. Aquarius Capricorn cusp, Aquarius Pisces cusp for some of you. Someone could have an Aquarius Venus. So maybe a, long, a strong Aquarius. Someone could have a Cancer Venus. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you've gotten some sort of victory. You're just surrendering the whole thing. You're not going to play back with this part, but it, it really is like two can play that game because you cutting their ass off and they're going to feel it real bad. They're going to feel it real hard after you cut them off and you start manifesting new love. Okay, you start manifesting new options and shit. It's like it shouldn't take you finding somebody new for somebody to really realize their feelings or to come to grips with some shit. I feel like I'm so sick of that shit. I'm sick of it, bitch. Understand it the first time we start talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you feel like you feel strongly towards me, get rid of your hoes so we can, like, be together. It should not be this fucking hard. The dating pool is fucking horrible. I'm, I'm so sick of it. What's the Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, Three of Cups being in and out with you in a third party. Three of Cups in reverse. There's a lot of fucking gossip, too. Somebody's gossiping a lot. It's this third party. And I feel like they joined in, too, with the King of Swords in reverse. They didn't say some shit here because they judged you wrong in the first place. So they didn't hopped on the bandwagon with this hoe. And now they're going to be stuck with the same bitch that they didn't hopped on this bandwagon with you about. Period. Someone can have a Cancer Mercury. What's Knight of Wands here with the Three of Cups in reverse? Somebody here could be overindulging or could have overindulged in sexual activity. Yeah, trust the message here in reverse. For some of you guys, this could be you canceling like this person. Now you're calling something off. <clears throat> 
okay like the three of cups yeah this could be you just like getting rid of like a friendship or you're canceling a friendship with this person or this could be that day ass trying to get rid of this third party now but that three of cups talks about like loneliness it could it could you know overindulgence and things partying drinking sex smoking whatever what's the three of cups in reverse nine of swords what's this three of cups in reverse with this nine of swords seven of pentacles yeah i feel like you're breaking free of something here because i mean i feel like you know that your purpose is much deeper than whatever the fuck this is somebody here's a cheater or yeah if this person could be a cheater that's why they keep lying and shit because they got a family but they want to run off and do whatever and i feel like this karmic lets, lets them do whatever because the karmic does whatever the fuck they want so they running off and treating you a certain kind of way. Now they're in love with your ass. Now they're in love with you. Someone could have a Taurus Saturn. This Seven of Pentacles talks about waiting, patience. Like uh, it could talk about reviewing something, like assessment, self evaluation, or or looking at something again. I feel like you you're just waiting on something. <clears throat> or somebody here is well invested into something. I feel like this is this man. Well, this could be a man, but for some of you, I mean, it's a woman. Flip it, switch it. But this masculine, whoever's in this masculine energy knows that somebody's cheating on them. And this karmic has gossiped about you a lot. They've been talking a lot of shit about you, about how you were going to maybe do what they're doing to this masculine. How you were going to do what they're doing to this masculine, basically. Somebody is in a long-term investment. They, they they like invested in some shit. They, they're invested. And what's this nine of cups? I mean, nine of swords. Yeah, and ten of pentacles. It's fucking, it's a rocky ass connection here. Somebody that faked their wealth. Okay, this could be somebody that's into a lot, a whole bunch of illegal activities. Okay, ten of pentacles in reverse is definitely like a divorce or this could be, like I said, some sort of dysfunctional family dynamic. Because for some of you, I don't even get that this person is completely over this karmic. They're not over them or they still with their ass in some way. Right? They just, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's good for you to like move the fuck on right now. <laughs> because it's some bullshit here. Some straight up dookie. It's trash. <laughs> it's trash. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, definitely <sighs> some sort of empire. Whatever this is that's been built is came crashing down. Now somebody is nervous or they stressed out or they got caught cheating or whatever the fuck this is. They got caught up in their own shit and I feel like you're done with it. You're leaving it behind or this is they ass. This is them leaving this shit behind. What's this trust the message in reverse? If somebody does, doesn't trust a message or what a... Yeah, Seven of Swords. That wanted to pop out. I don't believe it because somebody's a liar. That's why. Somebody's a liar and they're a cheater. And I feel like they they just didn't listen to your advice. They decided to play you or, or use you. I don't know what the fuck they did. But I feel like now something is being canceled. This could be somebody was about to get married. Maybe an engagement is called off or something like that. Something is over. Somebody definitely is a thief. Somebody is a thief here. This could be somebody trying to steal like family inheritance. A whole bunch of fucking money. Or some sort of inheritance. Something that's been passed down. I don't know. It could be this connection too. That's inherited. Spirit wanted you and this person to be together. And now they fucking fucked their contract up. And they fucked it up by sneaking off and lying. Or doing whatever it is that they're doing. They, they, they were, I feel like this person was trying to find some sort of outlet to run away from their problems instead of dealing with it head on. And that's the problem. What's the Ace of Cups? I feel like you're done. You're, you're just done here. Yeah, the Hierophant. What's the Ace of Cups with the Hierophant? Yep, Justice Child. I'm telling you, there's a beautiful connection coming through. Something beautiful. There's some sort of like... Uh, sacred like contract a commitment something that could be long term marriage it's in it's in this new beginning somewhere with these options that you got of uh, cancer this is your justice this is your karma justice here 
because you've learned the lesson with the Hierophant. It could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Yeah, Venus energy. <laughs> yeah, love is coming through. What's this? What we got? Venus and Leo currently, I think. Yeah, there, there's a commitment coming for sure. That's going to lead into marriage. If you want something traditional, I feel like it's, it's coming through. Like if you want marriage and things like that, I feel like it's coming for sure. Yeah, this new beginning that you're going to get is going to definitely be your karmic justice. So mm, what's the seven of cups? Eight of swords in reverse. What's the seven of cups with the eight of swords in reverse? Seven of Wands. <clears throat> okay, um, with the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Cups, you guys will be seeing seven, seven, seven. I feel like you're being protected from somebody. Your spirit team is protecting you from someone. This person could be severely depressed or like because the eight of swords talks about i mean this could be you right because you're freeing yourself from whatever this is right here you have more options available to you because you stood up for yourself or blocked something out with the seven of wands but i'm also getting like something is blocked this person is blocked there's there's somebody that's blocked from coming towards you because of this confusion and they could be like having a hard time overcoming some sort of abusive connection or their mind is like wired to just sabotage shit you know somebody could be depressed or something what's the eight of swords in reverse let's see uh, yeah the five of pentacles yeah i was getting the alternative meaning of this eight of swords with all this other shit around it Somebody here has really strong or severe like abandonment wounds, abandonment issues here. Definitely getting you're leaving somebody ass out in the cold, though. You're done dealing with their ass. Just period. <clears throat> mm. Somebody here could be getting released from jail. And they coming out broke. I mean, they ain't got no money. But a lot of new doors are opening up. So if this is you, I don't know. Or somebody you're dealing with. What's the seven of wands? Yeah, ton of wands. Yeah, you're blocked. Something is just a burden. It's like beating a dead horse with somebody. You're just done dealing with it. Yeah, it's at a stalemate, so you're moving forward. <clears throat> you're just moving on. You're breaking free because something is just at a stalemate. So you're like, okay, well, I'm going to leave it stuck then. Because I'm not fit to be the one trying to save this connection every fucking time or do whatever the fuck this is. I'm just not doing it. Just period. So two of swords is... If you, if you want to make me an option or if you don't know what the fuck to choose or whatever, I feel like, okay, well, let me just move on. Now, that's just what I'm getting with that. And you're you're releasing some sort of, like, um, burden. It's just something that's too much to bear. You're over it. But somebody here is just... I feel like somebody's having a hard time. And it's really, it really is sad because, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Cancer. They shouldn't have did what they did. What else, Spirit? Yeah, <laughs> deceiving you. affected and round and round yeah it's just the same shit over and over again you're tired you're tired you're definitely very much so affected by this you're done you're just done but this person they keep deceiving you and shit lying and all this this cycle that's going over and over and over again it's it's you're done what else what else or this person is leaving a karmic that they're affected by now to the point where they can't even give to you. Yeah, loyal in reverse. Mallory, guarded and nervous to let people close and mesmerized by you. That came out like in reverse too. Who is mesmerized by you in reverse? Somebody's like uninterested in someone, disinterested. Or it's like maybe if, where you were mesmerized by this person, you're not no more. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> What's mesmerized by you here in reverse? Or, like I said, this person is breaking up with this comment. They don't want to fuck with this person. 
we have Annabe, very moody, insecure, and controlling. Yeah, emotionalist, unhappily married, and we have fights and arguments. Yeah, this person is so like they're not attracted to this karmic. They're not. They're not attracted to them no more. Especially <clears throat> if this karmic is running around cheating and shit. They were loyal to the wrong fucking person. What's uh loyal in reverse? Dating, spending time together. What's loyal in reverse? Third party, yeah. Other people involved. <laughs> A snake. Yeah, they were disloyal to you. I feel like that's them towards you. This car, they, this karmic play they ass though, but they were disloyal towards you. Y'all were spending time together, and they let this third party get involved or get in aware. This was someone that they were spending time together with behind your back, and you didn't know anything about it. That you thinking that, okay, that car flipped over. You thinking that y'all just just y'all two, and it's somebody else the whole time. Uh, what else? Jason, he's always only going to hurt you in the end. Mm uninterested not wanting it and self-destruct mode yeah third party again unhappy relationship player juggling romantic interests yeah i just feel like you're leaving this person to their own fucking vices like if that's what you like bitch i love it just juggle and do whatever the fuck you want to do but don't expect me to want your ass back when you decide you get tired of this bitch and you're going to get tired <clears throat> you're tired right now so yeah, now I feel like you don't want shit to do with them. Period. What else? They didn't turn you completely the fuck off. You can still love them, though, but you don't... I mean, loving somebody and being in love is two different things. What else? Nobody got time for this shit. <laughs> Platonic. Yeah, purely friendship. Period. That's probably the most you can only do with this person at this point. Yeah, I'm sorry. And then we have playing games. Yeah, this person can play basketball. They sorry for what? Friend zoning you? Yeah, because they, they, they want to be purely friends because, yeah, they don't want to come, like, they don't want to open up about their feelings. They're acting cold towards you. And they don't want to open up about their feelings either. So I feel like the only thing that they want to even do is be friends. It's like they didn't, they didn't hurt you too bad. What, what else? It's sad. It's really fucking sad. action doing something about it heart protected and future looking at options for the future yeah that's you that's definitely you here i feel like you're guarding your heart now i feel i don't feel like you're guarding your heart towards new options and if you are i feel like you should be flexible okay but i feel like you you're closing yourself from this person what's heart protected not texting communication problems what's heart protected and Finn, immature, erratic, and moody. Yeah, this person has a closed heart. That's what it is. You and this person not talking, not texting. They are immature. They're moody. They're all over the place. I feel like you're done dealing with them. Okay, you're just you're just done here. So you're protecting yourself. You're closing your heart off, and you're looking at options for the future. And you're doing something about it. You're taking action. Period. You're not going to sit around and deal with this person after they didn't put you in a third party and now they got to heal from the third party as well. They shouldn't have put you there in the first fucking place. What else? It's like, okay, you heal and I'm going to go off and do me. Yeah, deflecting. Yeah, meeting someone new and committed relationship. I can't make it up. <laughs> or this person in a fucking committed relationship and this is why you're meeting somebody new because spirit is not going to let you just sit here and sit in heartbreak and betrayal and pain for no fucking reason. What else? Yeah, deflecting, indecisive, uncertain with their way of thinking and suspicious. Is there someone else? Yeah, it's about to be. It's definitely about to be here because you're playing games. Somebody here, I don't know what they expect you to do. They want you to sit and wait while they fucking go fuck with a third party and while they get together in their mind, whether they're going to let you in or not, or whether you should, like, no. While they go explore their options, no, bitch. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Absolutely the fuck not. Somebody has lost their mind. That's what I'm saying. Something's wrong with them. Why they be indecisive about you? What the fuck are you indecisive about? By the time they make up their mind, you're done. You're completely done. All these question marks here, like being confused and all this shit. I feel like, no. 
Or this is you. Flip the rose. Somebody has really like they didn't lost. They they really I don't know what's wrong with these people, bro. It's I guess it's just trauma and just a whole bunch of dumb shit. But it's just like you know what? If you're deciding to stay a victim, then that's on your ass. But I'm not staying a victim. Everybody went through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody done been through something. So this is how you want to act, then we're moving on, right? So anyways, this is your reading cancer. I hope that this resonated for you. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.